I finally bought a new Apple Watch. All right, let's get this baby open. Welcome back to my channel guys, my name is Amy and thanks again for joining me. Today I'm going to be unboxing and setting up my new Series 5 Apple Watch in the stainless steel gold. Uh, and if you really like this video and you want to see more videos just like this, including my iMac Pro unboxing, be sure to head over to my channel and check out all of my other unboxing videos. Alright guys, let's get into it. So I actually bought this watch last night. Uh, I ended up going for the stainless steel uh, instead of the aluminium and there was a few reasons that I did that and I'll tell you about that in a minute. So I bought this from Apple uh, in Brisbane. So you can see that it's just an all white box and on the back here it just has these little tabs. Uh, it's like this because I actually bought it from the Apple store and which means that I got to choose the band and uh, the case and uh, spent a long time last night choosing which one I wanted. So originally I was going to go and get the aluminium uh, rose gold with the stone color band, but when I got there, I actually ended up buying the stainless steel gold uh, and I ended up going for a blue band. So uh, you can see on the front of the box now that it's uh, cut in with the uh, Apple symbol and then the word watch, and that actually feels really nice to touch. Uh, on the back here you've got these little tabs here and I haven't opened it yet so I'm really really excited to do this. I actually don't already own an Apple watch but I have a lot of other Memco watches and I was putting off buying a watch uh, or an, a smart watch because I really do like my other watches uh, and I can wear different watches for different outfits uh, but because I want to get uh, a little bit more fit and I want to track my fitness I ended up uh, buying a smart watch so hopefully this watch will help me get fit and um, you know keep track of all of my fitness and health goals and that's essentially what I got this watch for so let's open it up now so on the back here you can see the different tabs you just pull on these and open it up and let's have a look inside oh my god it's so pretty all right let's have a look at that that's nice and you can touch here Oh, that feels so good. So you can see that it's raised on here. And I know behind it here we've got the band. And on the band it's uh, not raised at all on that case. And that's sealed. So here's all the different colour combinations that you could do. Uh, of course, Apple Watches are very customisable and you can change the bands. So although I got the blue band um, and it's just the sports band, uh, I, I think that I'll be getting a few more bands to match different outfits because I do love all of my other watches uh, and I don't want to have one watch because it won't match every outfit. But essentially I bought this watch to keep track of my fitness goals and my health uh, and so the sports watch at this stage will be fine uh, until I you know buy some more bands as well all right so let's get this open i'm so excited about this i've held off buying an apple watch for such a long time because i didn't like that you had to flick your arm to be able to see the time that was um, one of those things that just really threw me and i didn't want, want to have to do that i just want to be able to glance at my watch uh, and not have to flick my arm every time that i see it but with the series 5 it actually has always on display which means that uh, you can just glance at your watch and then you can see the time uh, and all of the fitness and uh, your movement uh, tracking at just a glance rather than just flicking your arm all the time. Uh, some concerns about that is maybe the battery life. It's got 18 hours of battery uh, and also when you're using the watch it refreshes the screen 60 times per second but when you're not using it it's only one time per second which will save the battery. All right guys let's get this open. All right so you got a little tab here no need for knives. All right, here we go. And is it going to come out? Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. All right, here we go. And I think this is supposed to have the band in it or has it got the instructions? Oh no, here. It's just got all of the information about the Apple Watch, which I will read later. 
Uh, in the box, you can see that it has uh, the actual watch in this microfiber cloth or case. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I only got the 40 mil because the 44 millimeter uh, was way too big on my wrist. Uh, then I have, uh, it came with a little charging case and then of course the charger. And that's all it is. And it's just a magnet, I think, that you just pop it on and it's magnet on there. Uh, I'll just take the cover off that. Oh, that was easy. All right. And then it has a bit of plastic on this one. All the way around. Ah. And let's get this open. Here we go. So it's the 40 millimeter and then dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Love it. Yeah, this actually looked so much nicer than the aluminium one. So when I went into the store and tried them all on, I was really set that I was just going to buy the rose gold with the stone um, sports band. But once I actually tried it on and then tried this one on, I just decided to get this one. Plus this one has the uh, cellular and the rose gold one that I was going to get uh, was only GPS. So although I don't think I'm going to use the cellular on this at this stage, uh, I think that I might eventually use it and also the rose gold uh, in the GPS. It just felt so cheap and it looked a lot cheaper than what this does. And that's why I ended up getting the stainless steel. All right, so I'll just pop that down now and let's have a look at the band. So I ended up getting the blue band. Uh, I really did not think I was actually going to get this combination, but I guess because the bands are so interchangeable that you can actually... Uh, you know get any band that you like eventually and then just change them over so it didn't really matter which band I got last night uh, although I spent so much time so they were so patient with me <laughs> at the Apple store so thanks guys uh, yep yeah, all right so I opened it up got the band out and open it up ah oh, there's actually two sizes I thought there was only one size so that's interesting that's really good now I'm pretty new to how these go on and off. But after playing with them last night, I worked it out. So I'm only going to need the smaller one. After playing last night, let's see if I can work out this the right way. And pop it in there. And you just slide it in. I could never work out how people were taking them in and out, but there are actually little buttons on the back. If you're new to this, you probably already know anyway, but there's little buttons on the back and you push it in and then you can uh, slide them in and out just like this. So it's turning on now, which is pretty exciting. Let's try it on and have a look. And very nice. And there we have it. I'm really surprised that I went for the blue, but I guess it keeps saying, it doesn't really matter because you can change all the bands over anyway. So it comes out of the box and says it's low battery. So to continue, I need to connect it to the charger which means I'm gonna to have to plug it in, which is annoying, actually. So workout route tracking. So on here, enable route tracking, and then I'll use Siri. Uh, don't share with Apple and shared settings. All right, create passcode, enter the four on your Apple Watch. Uh, here we go. So I need to create a password for my Apple Watch. All right, so on here it's got activity, um, set up activity, birthday, continue, uh, daily move goal. So I actually want high set move goal. That'll do for now. Keep your Apple Watch up to date, continue. Uh, continue, mobile setup, uh, I'll just skip that step, and then clock faces, so install available apps, install all, or we'll choose later, uh, Apple Watch is syncing with my phone I guess. So this might take a little while. All right. So it says tap to select, swipe to scroll or move. Okay, press firmly. 
Press family for more options to change your watch face. Okay. All right. Good. Done. Display. Done. Oh, digital crown. That's the digital crown. Press to hold. Turn and scroll, zoom and adjust. Done. And side button. Side button. Oh, there's a side button to show the dock. All right. Double click for Apple Pay. Oh, yep. Press and hold for medical. Yep. Okay. Done. Done. The basics. Now it's just syncing. I think. All right. And that will be set up any minute now. All right, guys, so that is it. Today I unbox and set up my new Series 5 Apple Watch in the stainless steel in gold. And I'm really, really happy with the color, uh, how it feels, and uh, just overall function of this watch. And I'm hoping that it can help me track all of my fitness goals and all of my health. And then of course, also tell the time. I really like the fact that uh, my notifications and messages will come up as well. And of course I have the cellular version, which means that I don't actually have to have my phone with me all the time. If I go for a run or uh, if I go to the gym, I don't actually need my phone with me. Uh, and I've been riding my bike a fair bit lately, so I don't have to take my phone with me. I can just have my watch as well. All right, guys, so that's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you really want to see more videos like this, don't forget to head over to my channel and check out all of my other unboxing videos. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell so you know when I post in my next episode. And if you really like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. I'd love to know your thoughts on what you think about my new Apple Watch. Make sure you leave your comments below. As always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Oh, oh, oh.